Cloned crawfish are invading Europe, and biologists are concerned that they're threatening native species. Jacqueline Quinn explains where these crawfish came from and if we'll be seeing them here in Louisiana. This story actually came from the New York Times, and in it, they say the crawfish are multiplying like tribbles, or clones rather. Scientists have been looking into this as far back as 2003, and a team sequenced the DNA of this crawfish in question and discovered that somehow a mutated female crawfish was able to clone itself asexually. So basically, it doesn't need males. And now its clones can keep laying eggs and breeding clones. Scientists have identified these cloned marbled crawfish as their own species. They believe the original mutated crawfish is related to a species found in the Sequilla River in Florida and Georgia. We talked with University of New Orleans biology professor Simon Liveau to see what would happen if this made its way back to the Americas. There is a problem with, with asexual reproduction in the long term. It works out really well in the short term because the populations can grow very rapidly. The issue when sex isn't happening is that you have less opportunity for variation within a species. As for tasty or edible, for the matter, Professor Livo says it may be time for Europeans to have more crawfish boiled. But he says they're actually edible. Back to you guys.